The instruction mode still up in the air as school reopenings remain contingent on passing public health inspections. Department of Public Health so far only inspecting four schools, prompting Guam DOE to ready its stakeholders with a contingency plan should campuses remain closed. Concerned parents and caretakers responding to considerations of online learning and double sessions during a community input session held Thursday night for public elementary schools. This grandmother had a lot of questions questions for GDOE officials. Majority of us are all full back to work. Have they considered if they are going to go online, have they considered the employers such as the federal government, the government of Guam and private sectors, would they allow parents and grandparents as well to be at home and do teleworking? Because as of what I I know, I work for the government of Guam, it's not allowed. So have there been any arrangements regarding that? Another thing regarding the inspection, and I do agree this is a, a whole new aspect for the department, for the government, and I'm glad that is ha happening now. But why can't, can we consider, instead of you know doing it all at one time, why can't we do it in phases, probably, so that we can meet that goal? But this Marshall Sablon Elementary parent, Patricia Babauta, addressing school facilities couldn't come fast enough. You guys, you guys say that, you know, the sanitary permit is such a burden, is such an issue with you guys. I mean, this has been well over 10 years for me. My son was kinder when I was asking for that bathroom to be renovated. And now he's a sophomore and it's still the same thing. Others like Annabelle Kasembi echoing Babauta's frustrations. Outrage. It's an outrage. I, I, I understand. It's a we, complete we... outrage. And it's for years. It's not that this is a problem that's been going on recently or since Mawar hit. It's been on, going on for years. Yes, ma'am. We, we, we agree. And it's, it's something I mean, that we it can can't to stay with. like something has to change. Still no solid answer for how students will attend school this upcoming year. Guam DOE Deputy Superintendent Joe Sanchez only able to share preliminary projected in-person school start dates. Phase one, if a school is classified as phase one, we have 17 of those schools. That's 41 percent. Those are schools projected to be ready as scheduled either August 9th or no more than two weeks later. For phase two, we have schools projected to be ready three weeks to two months later um, than scheduled uh, start date than the scheduled start date of August 9th. And then phase three is a, is a real serious one. So we really had to go back and forth with the school to discuss this. Is schools projected to be ready three months or more later than the scheduled start date of August 9th? Sanchez says the three classifications of readiness consider school damages from the typhoon, weekly self-reports, and self-inspections. Meanwhile, Sanchez adds that the input from the input session will be brought forth to Senator Chris Barnett during an oversight hearing, saying he hopes there could be a political solution, adding if there isn't one, GDOE has no choice but to side 100 percent online instruction. This as the department urges stakeholders to voice their concerns in the school closure fast response survey.